king in you, mighty man of valor. Amen. I don't care what's going on outside. You got to learn to stay focused on the inside. Judges chapter 6. Stay focused on the inside. Amen. You have been cast, I think it's Colossians chapter 1. You've been cast from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. So this is where we live. And this is where we abide. This is where we exist. You're not from here. You're here, but you're not from here. It doesn't matter what takes place in your life. You can get up. Look at somebody and tell them, no matter what takes place, you can get up. You've been empowered. You've been equipped and created. By the Father God Himself. And we have to consciously retrain ourselves. Because uh, if you're going to go to the next level, you got to continuously and consistently train yourself for where you're going. Being prepared. The doctors, the nurses, uh, school teachers, different ones in different fields, law, uh, attorneys, all different fields of life where there's always something new taking place. They have to go back and train and get information, get knowledge of this new thing that's taking place. If you always do the same thing the way you've always done it, you're going to always be where you've always been. You cannot, uh, one poet says, it's idiotic to think that you do the same thing and get different results. It don't happen that way. It doesn't happen just because you went to church. <coughs> Because uh, Hebrew 4 and 2 says that we all receive the same word. Mm-hmm. But the only one that are going to profit from it is the one that mix it with faith. Yeah. You don't mix this word with faith. If you don't step out in faith in everything you do, God said you copy me. <laughs> you imitate me. Everywhere in the word where you see God spoke, Jesus spoke, things happened. Where you see representatives in the 66 books that follow that same path, you got to put yourself right there. It wasn't just for them and then it stopped. Your name is in the book. Oh my goodness. Your name is in the book. So and so is over where anywhere you've seen it take place or it happen and work out for them, you got to know that the same thing applies to you. Uh, Acts chapter 10, uh, verse 34. Uh, I'm going to get here. I'm working myself in. I'm hearing, hearing stuff. Uh, the writer says that he has realized that God is not a respecter of persons. It's not a God a respecter of persons. Any man that will apply this principle will get the God kind of results. Because you got to be consistent. You got to hold fast to the confession of your faith without wavering. You can't be wishy-washy, double-minded. A double-minded man is unstable. You got to know where you're going. You got to look back at the house. Tell the family, men, 
Tell the family we're coming up. Tell the family this is the last day we'll be without. Go in that house and you talk and speak those things that be not. Don't, don't speak what is. I don't care how messy it is, you can change it. Oh, God, I wish I had another one here. I learned that I don't have to run from everything. I conquer that thing by confronting it. And when I know who I am, in Him, I can change. Winners never quit. Amen. And quitters never win. Uh, let me twist it. You can't teach a quitter to win. And you can't teach a winner to quit. Uh, y'all can catch it. Don't wait on one thing when it's already coming out. If I don't get here to be continued. Whatever. Uh, so, so, it's, it's my responsibility. Mm-hmm. We, 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 especially in the church, you know, we've been praying for years, trying to get a breakthrough, trying to get a miracle, trying to get favor, trying to get things to happen, and you pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and not get the answers. You got to stop somewhere and realize. I don't have to pray to heaven. I got to pray from heaven. Yeah. Not praying to God, praying from God. Because he lives. And this is challenging for some people, especially in church. But I'm helping you out. Look at somebody and say, he won't help you if you let him. You got to be willing to be shaken up. You got to be willing to be shaken up. Get in the sound, Mary. It's, it's shaking all that religious stuff out of you. Be willing to accept the change so you can go to that next level. You can't stay on a pager on your hip. You can't stay there. You can't stay on a rotary phone. You just can't stay on that one when they pick it up and click on it and the operator come on and you say, uh, get so and so and so on the line. No, you can't stay there. Are y'all gonna, are y'all gonna catch this? Yeah. I gotta advance. Yeah. Everything out here is advancing. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the middle of a ship right now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get lost yeah. Yeah. in the ship. Don't get lost in it. Don't, don't, don't just see negative everywhere. Because who you possess, you can change and shift that atmosphere. And go in, in the Word and define where He said, Let there be. It was. I think about nine different times. Let there be. And it was. The Bible says in Genesis that the, the Spirit, Holy Spirit, was hovering. And every time God spoke, <laughs> ooh, I, I, don't, don't make me shout too early. Uh, every time He spoke, Spirit got busy. There wasn't no plumbers, there wasn't no electricians, there wasn't no carpenters. Wasn't no automakers. No, he was creating something out of nothing. I don't care uh, what type of valley you in. You got to know that I'm just passing through. You don't get stuck in the valley. You don't get stuck in the wilderness. You're only passing through. You didn't go there. God told him on one occasion, don't go in and unpack because you're not going to be there alone. 
But you always get the people that, that think that this is it. So they go on the path. You know, you know, you know, you know, instead of doing what you say. Because they don't, they, don't, they don't walk and live in the faith of what's being said. Uh, people that have been around this church and, and we're continuously teaching faith and you still talking that old violin whang, 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 with the long violin. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. My question is, where have you been? Because if you've been here and you gravitated to this properly, you would talk the same. Let's let them brothers they were talking. And I can tell the ones that hearken to the voice of God that's speaking through the leader. And I can tell the ones that's still somewhere lost in the woods mm. don't know where they're at. Because when you when you are in the midst of this, you you, you don't look, I just know without even knowing, I just know everything's gonna be alright. Yeah. I, I just know that all is well. Yeah. Uh, why? Because I'm a faith man. Right. I'm a faith woman. Right, right. And I don't care what the situation says, I, I'm gonna say, look here, I don't care what this is. This is not what it's going to be. This is not the end. We're only going to pass through this. This is momentary. It's temporary. Uh, we, 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 we see ourselves at a destination. Yeah. Look at that movie yesterday. I, I feel myself getting, getting, getting somewhere. I think I'm going to take flight a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we, just, we just don't go with it. Uh, look at that movie yesterday. And, 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 and this woman come and got this man. And they were in a poverty uh, type street type uh, place, and and she wound up telling them that this is all an illusion. This is not real. This is an illusion. And he he kept trying to make her believe that this was real, and she kept telling him no. She's banging on stuff because he, he's getting on her nerve. This is an illusion. And then he turned around and said, "Well, I want to see what you're talking about." So she turned around and. Took him to the reality of God. Where the lowest person, the nobody, the minimum that they receive is 500000 a year. The minimum. That's bad. Y'all ain't catching me. And, and I take those things and I go to my spirit nature. You can be that nobody, but the lowest minimum is five hundred thousand. Y'all, y'all ain't catching me, y'all. I think I'm going too fast. Y'all might need some 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 chicken wings and ranch or something. Too late or something. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Your affections are not upon the earth. You know, no affection that changed to heaven. There is no lack in heaven. You, you don't live from a broke place. You don't live from a sick, poverty stricken place. You live from the king's domain. And the king's domain is in you. It's too deep for some. That's okay. Just go back and find your religion somewhere. I ain't doing one for you. I want to get people out. I want to get them out. And people that want to get out, they grab and this, and they work it. Y'all just sit there and look at you like you're crazy. Yeah, and I am because I'm in the heavenly place. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk that religion talk to try to please you. And none of the rest of them. I'm going to speak like my father. He said, you copy me. You talk like me. I don't care what you say about me. He said it. He gave me permission. He authorized me. You are going to change me. Stay where you are. Let me keep going where I'm going. Because we all can receive. But who's willing to do the work? Some people are too lazy. They say you want to keep stuff away from people. Put it in the book. 
Because people won't read. They want to tell you what the Bible says. Then when you look at them and say, so how is that doing for you? They'll start going back to some violin playing. <laughs> well, the devil, the devil, the devil will say, well, if you've got all this knowledge of the Bible, why aren't you utilizing? <laughs> see, see, because you don't have the reality. You just got information. Okay. Yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> the letter killer, but the spirit makes alive. You, you, you got to go in there. You get one scripture. Very easy one. Can I get an easy one? Luke 10, 19. Very simple. Go get it, somebody. I, I, I want you there making it up. I know you heard it a thousand times, but you're going to hear it a thousand more. Because if you keep coming in here with the same report, that means you're not working it. The devil ain't ever supposed to be up on you like that. The devil wants to get nervous, not you. The devil wants to run, not you. When you wrestling in who you are, Paul said, it is in him that I live, I move, and I exist. I don't live outside of him. Because living outside of him will kill you. You got to live inside him. You got to live from him. Amen. Amen. Peter said, when you were talking to me, you thought you were talking to this house. <laughs> but you were talking to the Holy Ghost in the house. <laughs> so it's the Holy Ghost in the house yes. that's doing the work. Don't get caught up on the outside house. Because there is so much inside you if you would take time to dissect it. That you will leave here at 120 and still have more. Amen. You, you God said you are more than a conqueror. If he says I'm more than a conqueror, why am I letting everything grab me? Why am I angry all the time? Why am I flying off the hook every time somebody says something? God says, I am more than a conqueror. Yeah. Read 1019, where we got it. Look. Look. I have given you authority. Wait a minute. Look. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. No more excuses. Look. Yeah. I have given you. That wasn't the president. That wasn't the governor. It wasn't the mayor. It wasn't your boss on the job. He said, I have given you. And you say you believe it. That's what you said. Yes, sir, I do. Well, we should see the miracle. Right. And if I don't see the miracle, I'm not going to believe what he said. Well, I put him on shot. I'm telling you, I'm not religious, so I'm keep trying to tell you don't no, no expect me to be like red. I'm going to be red. I'm going to be T.I. <laughs> Amen. Amen. No, no, no. You, 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 you done been church. You done did church. You, you done been around the church, outside the church, everywhere in the church, the church, the church. And, and, you, and you die. Because you haven't caught a glimpse of the reality. When you catch a glimpse of the reality, you don't have to run all over the town looking. Ah. You don't have to chase down everybody coming to town. You don't have to go look for all this, that, and the other. But when you catch a glimpse of the reality, you realize I can do it too. I wish I had somebody get mad and say, I can do it too. God said, it's for you, your children, and your children's children. See, you are the seed of it. You can it all. And you're canceling out every curse. No, no. We're bringing the blessing in this house. And we command the curse to get out. I, I don't care what happened before this time. That curse is broken. I've been redeemed from the curse. And I'm not going to try to live out something that God says I've been redeemed from. Just 
face reality. That is my reality. Because my affection I set on things above. Not on the earth. Glory to the land. See, in times like this, you find out where faith people are. And you find out where the information people are. That's right. See, we go off for education. We go off for information. And we don't have no revelation. We need to hear God. Amen. What, what is it that I am to do in this time? Because I'm not supposed to lose. Yeah, you, know, you told me that a thousand may fall at my side. Yeah. And you told me that ten thousand will fall right at my right hand, but it shall not come. Not me. And I, I expect to see that miracle. I don't care what's going on in the city, the state, the country, the world. None of it is supposed to affect me. Well, my God told me that. Hallelujah, that I will only see it with my eyes. Yeah. And that is the reward of the wicked. Yeah. That's not my reward. Yeah. I don't care what happens out here. I don't care how they talk about ways of this and ways of that. Yeah. I don't care about any of it. Why? Because it is in him that I live. Yeah. I move that I exist. And it's just set it up so that I can be a greater help to some of them out there. Yeah, because thank you don't ever suppose to lose. God said, I've given you power. I call you a hero. You are a mighty man of battle. Glory to God. And I don't care what you're feeling on the outside. You gotta take what's on the inside and command the outside to line up. Nobody don't run you. You run your body. Your body don't run you. You run your mind. You tell it what to think. You tell your body how to feel. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I resurrect it with Jesus. And from him I live. And by his faith I live. If they don't want to talk like 
darkness. Put your finger up and get away from it.
said, why do thou cry aloud? Is there no king in you? Look at your name and tell them, there is a king in you. Operate. But he's the king of kings. He didn't say, I'm the king of slaves. I'm the king of kings. So if you are in the God class, you better bring yourself up. Kings make a decree. And they expect it to happen. Whatever they say on that throne, they expect it to happen. Or somebody. <laughs> Why do you cry about? Why are you doing all that crying? Why are you worrying, wasting time, wasting life? Miserable. It's there. He didn't say, get somewhere and pray. Sit down somewhere. You're going to hell, you devil. He didn't say none of that. You better get saved. He didn't say that either. Is that? people need to answer that question. Because if you don't know what they tell you out there, you're going to keep following it. Because you believe them. Want to believe God like you believe Him. Won't you, won't you run after the God in you like you run after that man? Won't you run after the God in you like you run after that woman? Run after that car or that house. You run after the God in you. You won't have to be testing the water. You step on it. And know that it will sustain you. How long are you going to keep testing the wall? Yeah. Is there yeah. no king in you? Yeah. Why are you begging everybody for gas money? Yeah. I just get this rent paid. Why? Yeah. Get this gas bill. Get this light bill. Maybe you need a pair of sheep. Telephone disconnect. Waiting on the next paycheck. Look at your name, Tom. Those days are over. Give the king in you permission to bring this thing to pass. God said, You will have what you say. Where the mind goes, energy flows. <coughs> Take your mind off of it. Get your attention off of it. I don't need all of them. I just need to get to know who I am. And when I get to know who I am, everything else will be added. God says, seek ye first. Do I need to get them to crack that open? <laughs> Go ahead, Bishop. Is that Matthew 633? Is that it? I got some theologians in here. I know y'all. Seek ye first. You don't have to be running all over time. I mean, we were looking for a house. And man, we was exhausted. <laughs> and watch this. When we turn around and say, you know what? We, we, we just going to stop. And it's going to show up. And sure enough, Realtor got in touch with us. He said, I got a house for you. Okay? And ABCDFG from there. <laughs> 
What happened? We start chasing it. Okay. Exhausting ourselves. Our minds are just as loony too. Because we got so much we're trying to take on. I, I was that person. I, I was that person. That's why I stayed in anxiety. I ain't in it no more. You ain't gonna let nobody talk to me either. I know what to do. You ain't gonna put it. Ain't nobody else. I love people. But you ain't gonna put me in my tap. I will walk away from you. And then you come back. If I need you. You got to know to stop letting everything work you. If you put a monitor to your brain cell right now, it, it just flipping all the way. You worry about this, worry about that, worry about this, worry about that, worry about that. Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm, I feel, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. Oh, oh, God, I don't feel good. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody is like, oh. And one thing led to another, to another, to another, to another, to another. Just make sure you got life insurance. God said, that's not you. Adam, where are you? He knew where he was, but he wasn't talking to the flesh. Wow. I'm going to say it again. He wasn't talking to the flesh. He knew where he was at. But he called him the real tree. Right. He called him the real you. Well, we hid ourselves because we were naked. Who told you that? Where did you get that from? That woman you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you gotta stop listening. It all started with Eve listening to the wrong voice. And when you're vulnerable, you listen to anybody. They get your attention. Anybody come along? All dark and handsome? Yeah. You don't see no signs of deranged unity. <laughs> oh, you see, oh, he's fine. Oh, so bad. Oh, so bad. <laughs> that car, oh my God, I got to have it. Oh, that, oh, my Lord, I, I, going crazy. <laughs> and then because they said no, you dropped. <laughs> You didn't get it, so you you dropped, thought you lost. You didn't lose. I always say it's that or something better. You're, you're not gonna stop me because you said no. I'm not gonna keep chasing after. I know my entitlement. Listen, it will show up. Long as I stick to the plan. It will show up. I don't have to set my credit for no gear going to the house. I believe in cash. Cash talk. Cash is better than credit. Yo, yo, okay. See, faith is your currency. It'll give you the thing or the thing to get the thing. You never step out of faith. Going crazy over people. Losing your mind over people. Taking on all this stuff. Oh, oh I should have did it because now, oh God, oh God, this, this is wearing me. This is stressing me. This is it. You're going crazy. That's not you. That's not That's not your life. And God's trying to get your attention. Adam! Where are you? Y'all catching this? God told you that all things were yours. 
Give me that, that scripture. One of y'all read it Friday. Thank you. Was that Curtis? Give me Luke 15, 30. And uh, I think it was New Living Translation. See y'all son. Let me show you something. Y'all didn't get your shot in? Y'all wait till it's over. I'm going to get mine in. I'm going to get mine in. I'm going to get mine Hallelujah, because you see, my affections are set high, baby. Yeah. I'm believing for nothing but the best. And I ain't sitting around worrying about it. I, I just see results taking place. Money just showing up. Investments going up. Other people crying because they're going down. And then they want to get you nervous. You're not going to make me nervous. I'm not listening to you. Because I'll talk to mine. And listen here. I command you to increase. There is a king in you. And that king in you know you're not broke. But you're not listening. Mr. Bishop, oh no, I got. I, I can't be fooled with that. That that Bitcoin stuff. No, no, no. I had all, all my life. And then, and, you know, I, and, did it, and, and, and now the thing's up running around close, getting up to 40 and 41. And, 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 and some of us uh, making uh, more and more. Uh, While you still going, I, I, ain't, I ain't fooled. I ain't fooled. Mm. You sure we look? I believe money supposed to work for me. I don't believe I'm supposed to work for money. Y'all don't hear me. Thank God for the job, but you better not be sitting there trying to get 40 years in a retirement. That's misery. Now you got to watch CNN and make sure. And, and you're coming into a cashless. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. Come on. Say it. Banks and all. Y'all better watch it. They say they cover you. FDIC. Say they cover you up to $250. And you talking million. They ain't going to cover you. You never know what to do. Y'all not here. Somebody being blessed on this. Faith will make you step out. Yes, it will. Come on now. <laughs> and you don't even see the stairs. You <laughs> should have been hiding your few dollars up under the mattress. <laughs> and ain't making no money off of it. Won't even, won't even. If God told, told that man, he said, listen, you wouldn't even take and invest what I gave you. Mm. Get some type of answers off of it. You, you talking about I hear it. <laughs> and he went off on him. I could just see him just moving. But I'm going to give y'all T.I. first. You got to wake up and know. They talking this out here if you listen to the right people. They telling you. You, you could become an instant millionaire in a split second. Why? Because everything's going digital. Man woke up to over a hundred thousand dollars in his account. And it was all his money. He didn't have a clue. See, it happened. Uh, that was that interview with Elon Musk. Some of y'all know. The Tesla. They were interviewing him and they were asking him about this vaccine and stuff. He told them, he said, no, me and my family will not participate in that. Now, I'm sitting there listening to him and I'm like, come on. Church folk will call him the devil. He talked better faith than church folk. Then they turn around and say, say well, aren't you concerned, you know, because if, he said, look here, everybody's going to die one day. Amen. He told me, he said, we've been working on SpaceX, and we have not stopped working on SpaceX, and we will not stop. 
I don't care what y'all do over there. He talk bold. That's your voice. That's the real you. You don't talk all that weird. You know, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no change. You got this fat chain. I, I can't afford this. I can't afford that. I can't afford this. I can't be around. <laughs> Your affections are not set. Yeah, yeah. He talked bold. I said, that's the same. The same, all the same, ran up in the house. Right. So I didn't wait on the vaccine. <laughs> Shut all the churches down. If I run around bumping the elbow, <laughs> saw one look at the mall the other day, he, he hurried up through that elbow out there. <laughs> and, and before I knew it, I broke out, started laughing. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to bring you up. I'm trying to bring you up. Because if you imitate him, you wouldn't be worried about none of that. Watch this. Let me take a little detail. If you should take up any deadly thing, put, put fear in all the saints. And talking about this is what Jesus would do. The lie, devil. I ain't never seen Jesus run for nothing. Loser! You uncircumcised demon, you! Turn him loose! God, how you trying to be heat? You got to know, you coming out. I wish I'd get a hundred people to say that. This time say it like you really mean. Now look at somebody tell them I'm out of that thing. My word day is over. I will not be stressed no more about that. All this way. Let me read this one more scripture. Ecclesiastes 8 4. He said, Watch this. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say to him, What thou doest? So, what are you saying? Who going to say to him, What are you doing? See, where the word of a king is, that's you knowing. You talk to everything. That's not talk to you. You hear you said it. No. There's a king in me. And I'm activating him. Nothing but the best. I ain't running around standing nobody praying. I don't need nobody. Throw a bunch of oil all over me. You now have so much oil thrown on you, you, you can go and tune up a car and fix it up and everything like that. Man. Man. You have so many people praying for you, you don't even know where you're at. Now you the range. Because you're going to took on all of this stuff. Instead of getting in the house, there's a king in me. See, that's why I teach people how to do this. Because you're not supposed to be sitting around in church all your life, standing in prayer line, standing up at the altar, and not getting any results. That, that's why I don't do it like that here. I did at first. But I said something wrong with that. See, I was doing what I was taught to do. That was good for that time, but it ain't for today. So you've been in them lives for 50 years, you still the same? Mm -mm. 
And God told me, he said, you, you, you spend too much time worrying about it. People don't want to change, they're not. That's it. That's it. People that really want to change, the word that I have spoken unto you has made you clean. That's what Jesus said in John 15. The word makes you clean. And the person that's ready for change, they come in here with that attitude. You ain't got to beg them to do nothing. Would you stand up? Would you sit down? Would you do this? Would you do it? You no, know, they they so motivated and ready. Yeah. Yeah. Soon as you start speaking it, they up, they ready. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because this is why I'm here. Right, man. You come here just just get another another church service. Some people look so bored. I'd be like, won't you just go and do something else? Because this ain't working for you. I spent hours and hours and hours in this type of stuff simply because this motivates me. And it ain't religion. Nobody's rules and all this craziness that people done threw and made slaves out of people with. So they want to be able to just tell you this, 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 and, and make you drop. Now you ain't making me drop. You say whatever you want to say. I don't care. I done talked about, mocked about, called the devil, sent to hell, tried to put voodoo, witchcraft, all that doo-doo, and all that. None of it worked. I'm still here. Because a person that focuses on his growth, I don't care who come along to try to change it, he ain't changing. Because you're secure in who you are. Yeah. People that run all over the place, they're not secure in themselves. And I see people running, I'd be like, Lord have mercy, if they would just stop and just listen. Or just let somebody take a video of how they run around all over the place. And you sit there and just look at it. You wouldn't believe it yourself. You just run around all over the place. You ain't secure in yourself at all. Are y'all still here? Did y'all yeah. No, I'm gonna be still and I'm gonna get in the king domain inside. Yes. And stop going crazy over there. Glory to God. If it's for you, honey, it's yours. You don't need nobody else to let go. What's for you is for you. That's right. And it'll come to you. The thing that you seek is also seeking you. But you're too busy. Wow. You won't listen. Joshua meditate upon this book. And the words of I served Moses have taught you. Meditate on it. How often? Day and night. Then you will have good success. You will prosper. People running so much, they ain't got time for nothing. They're just the busiest, busy people and still ain't got nothing. But they're always busy. They ain't got time to listen to you, what you're trying to tell them. They're just busy, they got their own. And you just have to let the people go on. And they fall in a hole, they don't have to. People in this church, and I see them fall in the hole. It's because you're not hearkening to what's being spoken. So you're running into all the walls, crashing and losing. It's because you won't listen. And some people I'll start talking, and they can't even talk to me. But as soon as I start talking, they go speak them down. And, and I just shut up. I'm like, hey, do you, whatever. Don't waste my time. I'm here to help whoever wants to be helped. If you already got your mindset, don't bother me. Because I value my time. Amen. Hey, my time is precious to me. And I, I, I want to spend it on people that want to get up. People that want to do better. Not run around religion. 
You don't need no more religion. You didn't have so much religion, baby, you choked out of religion. And you still trying to keep up with it. How's that doing for you? People are falling away. You know why? Because all they knew was religion. They don't, they, don't, they don't have a relationship. They just talk about it. Amen. God said, you can tread among scorpions and serpents. And none of it will hinder you. You tread all among all that stuff. And none of it will touch you. It won't affect you at all. Because you're secure. You get bit by it. You shake it off and keep on going. Because you know who you are. You don't live from the outside. You live from the inside. So if you shake stuff off, it dies. And you still live. The thing that should have killed you, killed itself. Y'all hear me? That devil was worse than me. Okay, you don't believe me? Go, go out there and let one of them bite you. You got a matter of seconds. You swell it up, and boom. It's old. Go, go let, let a cobra or one of them anacondas or something. Let them bite you. These young, young women are crazy. It's good to see you caught up on the beat. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you what faith will do. I respect people in whatever it is they do. You know, there's option for everybody. Everybody doubled by his own opinion. Amen. Amen. But when you're in faith, you're peculiar. People are trying to figure out how in the world are you still going on? How are you still? Because my affection are set above like me on the airplane, 30,000 feet. Yes! I love it. It's a lot different up there than it is on the ground. And by the bit on plane, you know it. In a whole nother galaxy. And you're at peace. Praise the Lord. We'll let y'all go. Amen. It's time for you to wake up and get into your phenomenal creation. Amen. So you can have a phenomenal year. Yes. You're in February now. Amen, sir. Don't, don't, don't fall back into 2020. Don't let none of that other stuff and them other people and all that pull you back there. Be determined for yourself to make progress. By this time, next month, not December 31st. By this time, the next month. And stick to it. And watch and see what happens. But you got to be willing to get away from everybody. That's talking all that other stuff. Amen. Because they'll talk you right out of your face. You come in and get yourself pumped up and ready, and they'll come on and talk you right out of it. God bless you, sweetie. You got to go to work. Amen. Bless you. Yeah. Don't get around with you. Don't spend all that time with the people. Be willing to get on around some other people. Amen. Got down the bone and said, well, you're going to have to wait about an hour before we get some blankets for you. And I looked out and saw all the people and I was just happy and the kids were running over. I said, you know what, I'm okay, I'm going to sit right here and I can wait. Because I was amongst a bunch of happy people. Everybody seemed to be happy and excited running around through there. I love getting around different people. Yeah, yeah. Happy people. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They'll run up and then give you a bunch of scriptures and, and, and they still in unbelief. No, I can do bad by myself. Amen. 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 You gonna hook up with me? Amen. You better, you better know. Amen. You're not gonna make it with me. No. Amen. Amen. Cause you gonna be challenged with Ti. Ti, <laughs> you gonna get, you gonna get tired. You gonna have, I'm tired of that boy just challenging me. I'm just getting on out. 
or the other one's going to say, I'm getting up and I'm getting up some more and getting up some more. I'm tired of being in the dump with the blue, begging all the time. Your begging days are over. Your distraction days are over. See, when you meditate, you focus. That's why people need to meditate. You know, back in the day, they said meditation was the devil. They said talking to yourself, you was crazy. But I, I realize now that's what I should have been doing. Wow. Because I would have some awesome conversations with myself. And it's working for me. When other people try to put me down, I talk to myself and pick myself back up. I ain't waiting for nobody to put it down. I ain't telling myself. I ain't waiting for nobody to validate me. I validate myself. And wait for nobody to give me nothing. Because I have everything. Praise Jesus. Because you copy your example. You copy your example. You don't need everybody to come along and encourage you, validate you, and all this. How am I doing? How do you do you, 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 you don't need none of that. The work of speak. Let your light so shine that men will see your good work. You don't have to run around pounding your feet all over the place trying to make me believe you and believe in you. I'm so and so and so and so. You ain't got to do none of that. I thought they can have all them titles because I know who I am. That title don't make me. I make that title. You keep all the time. When, I, when, when I'm with Jesus, there ain't no bishop. There ain't no pastor. That's man. They don't call him Dr. Jesus. Bishop Jesus. Apostle Jesus. You will get mad, but you don't call about him title. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, right, okay. I, I, my apologies to you. <laughs> Who is you? <laughs> okay. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell them all is well, baby. Oh.